Ms Jew's family now wants someone to take responsibility. And they've got an experienced legal team on their side. It's a very important case because this was an atrocity and there's too much tolerance in this country for this kind of repeated uh, desecration of Indigenous families by people with the authority of the state. And we need to set standards which all Australians adhere to. I'm expecting the brief to arrive. From Human rights lawyer George Newhouse has joined forces with Stuart Levitt. <laughs> Levitt has just won a historic federal court victory, claiming police racism during and after the 2004 Palm Island riots. Stuart has been extremely successful with the Palm Island case in highlighting endemic and systemic racism in the Queensland Police Service. These are issues that need to be exposed in WA as well. And I think taking um, Stuart's approach and applying it to the circumstances of Miss Dew's case will expose um, the rotten core of prejudice that exists both in the police service and also surprisingly in the health service in WA. I don't ever want to see a young woman being dragged about in a police cell in custody in WA. I don't ever want to see um, medical professionals and clinicians and nurses um, ignoring the plight of a vulnerable woman who was effectively dying. These reforms need to take place and I'm hoping that the case will lead to real reform in WA. It's three years since her death and time's up, time's up.